Welcome back everyone and we have some big news to talk about today. Today Warren Buffett just announced that Berkshire Hathaway, his company that he is CEO and chairman of, announced that he has sold all of his airline stocks that the company holds. He sold all of his positions in four major airlines in the United States and today we're going to talk about what, why he sold and what's going to happen moving forward with the airline industry. So if you look at the title of this article here from CNBC, it says Warren Buffett says Berkshire sold all of its airline stocks because of what's going on in the world. So some key points of the article here says Berkshire Hathaway chairman and billionaire value investor Warren Buffett said that the conglomerate has sold the entirety of its position in U.S. airline industry. So his stake in the airline industry is worth over $4 billion, and he had positions in United Airlines, American Airlines, Southwest Airlines, and Delta Airlines, the four big airlines within the United States. So what a quote from what he said in his annual meeting was that, the world has changed for airlines, and I don't know how it has changed, and I hope it corrects itself in a reasonably prompt way. Buffett says that he admires airlines, but there's some things that events like this that really changes his perspective on the industry. And of course, he was asked if he just trimmed his positions or if he sold out of them completely. And he answered saying, when we sell something, very often it's going to be our entire stake. We don't trim positions. That's not something they do. And he really talked about how if they buy 100% of a company and something happens within that company, they're not going to trim down to 80%. They either sell it all or keep it all for the long term. So we're going to talk about what Warren Buffett sold and how much his positions were worth before he actually sold this, which was big news and it's going to have a dramatic effect on these stocks moving forward. So as I've mentioned before, his prior stake in the American airline industry was worth over $4 billion and he had stakes and positions in the four large airline companies. So of course we all know what's going on in the world and airlines have been completely shut down right now. No one is flying and they don't know how the airline industry is going to be affected moving forward over the next year, two or three years moving forward. So he just says he wants to switch into different industries and take his money out of all the uncertainty and move it and make it work in an industry that he believes in more and has a stronger long-term performance. So as he said here, but I think there are certain industries and unfortunately, I think that the airline industry among Ungers are really hurt by a forced shutdown by the events that's going on and those things are out of his control and out of management control of the airlines. So there's nothing he can do and he didn't want to be invested in those type of companies who really can't do anything at the moment to generate any sort of revenue. So of course he was, like I said before, he was questioned about if he's trimmed all of his position or if he sold it all. And of course, he did sell out of his entire position. And if we look at how much he owned, Berkshire Hathaway is a massive company and he didn't own a small chunk of these businesses. He owned very high stakes in all four of these major airlines. So as of last December, Berkshire owned 10% of American Airlines shares, 9.2% of Delta Airlines shares, over 10% of Southwest shares, and 7.6% of United Airlines shares. And these stocks year to date over the past year are down 63%, 58%, 45%, and 69% respectively in 2020. So he sold these stocks when they have taken huge declines. He sold his positions on huge discounts because he really believes that right now it's his best time to get out. I don't know what he knows. He is one of the richest men in the world. I'm sure he has access to information that the everyday person doesn't know. But of course, it is interesting to see that he did this. So this has to open your eyes. Is it now time to buy airlines because Warren Buffett has sold? Or is it time to like get out of them completely because you watch what he does? Personally, I'm a big fan of Warren Buffett and everything he does. If we look at Berkshire stock, this is their class B shares. Look at their performance. Since 1996, where Yahoo, Google Finance shows it, their share price has grown ridiculous amounts. And of course, Warren Buffett is known for beating the S&P 500 over the time of his, his management at Berkshire. As of late, he hasn't been beating it. And he announced, he actually said in an interview that he may not be beating it every year moving forward. But of course, he's one of the greatest investors of all time. And when he makes a dramatic move like this, like selling out of a complete industry and eliminating his majority stakes in these huge airline companies, and not only one or two companies who he may have believed had bad management, he sold out of the industry completely, which is a very big move. And a lot of investors are going to react and follow what Warren does. So it's going to be very interesting to follow what the airline industry does moving forward because of this news and because of this announcement. If we take a look at the four individual stocks he sold out of, and we look at their six-month performance, 
So this is American Airlines. About February 2020, before this huge market decline, it was trading at around $30 a share. And of course, now it's down over 65%. Same thing with Delta, trading at around $60 a share in February, now down over 60%. And it's the same trend with all four of these airlines. We all know what's going on, and these airlines have been hammered, and their stock price is going all the way down, over 50% down for Southwest Airlines. And we're going to move over to the last one, United Airlines. This company, of course, too, has been killed the worst, down over 70% year to, in, I'm going to say year to date, within the past two months, three months. These companies have taken a beating, and Warren Buffett decided that now is the time to get out of these companies. When this man right here, one of the greatest investors of all time, takes makes a huge decision like this, announces it to the world that he's selling huge stakes in these large companies, a lot of investors are going to take notice, and they're going to base their investing decisions off what Mr. Buffett does. So we're actually going to take a look at airlines financials. So of course, these are not updated. We don't have the most current financial information yet. But this is for Delta Airlines, currently trading at $24 a share, down over 6% on the last trading day. And if we take a look here, this is their income statement. So this is their income statement and how their income has grown before everything that's going on and before the complete shutdown of the United States and of the entire economy. And there's no more people flying on their airlines. So now their revenue are almost completely shut down. But this is how their revenue performed before this all happened. If we take a look here, we look at we start from 2016, their total revenue was $39 billion. Then in 2017, up to over 41 billion. Then in 2018, 44 billion. And then in 2019, over $48 billion in revenue. So they were consistently growing revenue year over year. And if we take a look at their net income right here, it's the exact same thing. In 2016, they did post a very high net income, so which did drop into 2017. But of course, it went back up in 2018 and reached an all-time high back in 2019. So if you see here, these airlines were actually performing very nicely over the past years, like three, four years as we look at right here. So the fact that this shut down for this past maybe three months that has really dr dramatically decreased U.S. economy and U.S. production, even though it's only been for three months, and of, co of course there's a lot of uncertainty on how the next 12 months, 16, two years, three years down the road are going to perform, this last three months really changed these companies' fun fundamentals and caused Warren Buffett to actually sell out of these positions. He sold out, out of all of his positions and all of these major airlines. And of course, this is going to raise a lot of people's thoughts about the industry and make people think about whether they want to be investing in this industry or whether it's time for them to settle their positions or hold back on buying into these positions, even though these stocks are cheap. If Warren Buffett has sold out of these positions and he's one of the greatest investors of all time, then of course, you don't want to always follow him. He has a different perspective on every situation and everyone has different investing needs and ideas and beliefs. But... When this man right here, the greatest of all time, does something, you have to at least pay attention to it. You have to at least take that into consideration when making your investment decisions. And of course, I am going to take that into my consideration when thinking about whether or not I'm going to jump into the airline industry. And of course, whether or not I believe it's time to buy in the airline industry right now or it's time to wait. Personally, I'm going to wait out a little bit before jumping into the airline industry myself before purchasing any of these different shares of American Airlines, Delta, or Southwest. I'm going to hold out to see what happens. I don't need to buy these companies at their lowest price. I'm going to wait another 12 months, 16, two years. And then once we start to see the economy open up completely, people begin to fly again with confidence and people are actually going back on airlines and not being scared because of everything that's going on then I may believe I might jump back into airline stocks because if they can go back to how much money they were generating before, go back to paying nice dividends, then I may believe it is time to jump back in. I don't need to pick them at the very bottom. I'm okay if I get them when they are back on an upward trend. If we take a look at the max chart, you can see here for Southwest Airlines, for example, it had a decent stock price chart, nice price appreciation. It grew rapidly. Then it kind of lowered and flattened out a bit. But then, of course, we saw over the one-year chart, you can see, like we already talked about, a huge decline in share price. But overall, I'm going to wait out a bit. It's, we have to report on it because when Mr. Warren Buffett, the Oracle of Omaha, does something, you have to take notice. You have to take that into consideration. But for me personally, I'm going to hold out before jumping into any airline stocks and just keep them to myself, 
put my money into different industries in the market, and hopefully get a better performance moving forward with some things that I, I have a little more certainty with and I'm not too worried about. So I appreciate you tuning in. I just want to report about what I heard today and Warren Buffett selling out of his airline stocks. And I thought it was very interesting to see. And I'm very interested to see what you guys are going to do with your airline stocks. If you're going to keep them, if you're going to sell them, let me know in the comments below. I do appreciate it if you do like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.